well studied is the honeybee. Like ants, individual bees communicate with others in the hive and their experiences add together to make decisions for the benefit of the colony. This is most apparent when bees create swarms, as they do when looking for a new home. In their searches, they can turn up just about anywhere, a disconcerting fact for anyone caught in their path. No, they're all right here, man. Every single one of them. When it was uh, a whole hive on this thing. Oh, yeah. What seems to us an odd choice is just part of an efficient process that ultimately results in the swarm finding the right place to settle permanently. So choosing a car or a bike isn't necessarily a mistake. It has plenty of nooks and crannies where they can build their cones. The first bees to land release a pheromone that guides the others in. They cluster together in a protective mass. But as the sun beats down and temperatures soar, they begin to question their choice. There is only so much shade to go around. They fan their wings to keep cool, but the overheating bees release a chemical signal that tells the scout bees that they aren't happy. The scouts quickly get the message and set off to find an alternative. With the sun beating down, it's a race against time. The scouts look for a cavity large enough to contain the hive. This shows distinct possibilities. She inspects the property, pacing the floor and measuring up, just like a human surveyor. Once the scout is happy, she leaves to let the swarm know. Back at the temporary bivouac, she announces the good news by dancing. But this is a dance with a precise meaning. The straight part of the dance shows the angle they must fly to find the cavity. The duration of her waggle dance shows how far they have to go. A second's worth of waggles equals half a mile of flying. Other scouts watch the dance, following her every move, taking in her directions. When she leaves, the scouts follow. With her guidance, this advance party makes a beeline to the exact spot. Now it's their turn to check it out. They too pace out the cavity, checking whether they agree or not. Having all made their assessment, they hold a committee meeting to consider their findings. How they arrive at a consensus is uncertain, but eventually they do. They let the swarm know the good news. The scouts rush through the swarm, vibrating their wings in what is called a buzz run. This tells the swarm one thing. It's time to leave. 100,000 bees take to the air in less than two minutes. 
the swarm follows the scouts, leading them to their new home. As more and more bees settle in, they release a scent that attracts in any stragglers. Communal thinking is the secret to the swarm's success. But this kind of intelligence has its problems. It works best when things stay as nature intended, but it can't think out of the box.